Three years ago, I replied to an ad written by a filmmaker who was looking for an aspiring composer to do a documentary on. I'm gonna do this, no matter what, or it's gonna all be for nothing, including this documentary. Little did I know, they would capture one of the most difficult periods of my life as I chased my dream. We don't have rent, just ran out of toilet paper yesterday morning. I'm having to tape up my feet because my shoes cut into my feet, like when I walk. <laughs> I was handed the reins to interview some of Hollywood's biggest composers as I struggled to become one myself. The car exploded. I've been an addict. They tell you to buy a suit because you're going to go to a lot of funerals when you get sober. I've been homeless. This is where I slept, right there on that sidewalk. I've been hopeless. I can't imagine how I'm supposed to go on. I've been lost. I'm a husband. I just have to keep believing in him and having faith that he has this calling for a reason. I'm a father. I'm just holding on for dear life. I'm an artist. Everybody wants to be an artist these days, and we can't support that many composers. You don't really see all the people behind the curtain, staying up all night, never sleeping, digging out of the grave so they can deliver you your music. But am I a composer? There is nothing more suitable for my life. There's three reasons people make it. Every one story is different. This style and that style and the other. You just gotta be so persistent. You never know when lightning's gonna strike. I remember the day I sold my soul to the devil. When you change one thing, all of a sudden it doesn't work with the thing after and the thing before. You want to make it through the project alive. I want to have a life. My hero has just told me, I don't think you're very good. My life has been full of ups and downs, highs and lows. I'm Jamie Carpenter, and this is my story. <laughs>